Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, Tell Me Your Times webinar. So this webinar is going to be about uh, 20 minutes to understand scheduling and planning through a real case. This case will be the company Alpha Drones. So that company designs and manufactures drones for uh, the private sectors. So it's a company with a pretty high growth. Their business exceeded 60 million euros in 2018 and uh, they have currently 200 employees and as we say so the company is growing so they are considering new hires in the coming years so the company is facing right now a problem is that they have been quite successful and maybe too successful so the director of the plant is pointing out a, a very important issue uh, that they may not be able to produce enough to answer the demand in 2019. Indeed, uh, they are planning uh, they are planning an increase of about 10% in the demand. So when they started realizing that, they understood that with the current resources and the current organization, they will not be able to handle this growth. In that context, the plant director decided to hire a new engineer, a new continuous improvement engineer, Jules, in that case. So Jules uh, has a three years experience in industrial transformation. So he will be in charge of ensuring the increase of productivity to answer in that specific, uh, in that specific problem, uh, the, the growth that the company is facing and the need of the company to produce more if they want to, to be able to, to cover the demand that is increasing a lot in the drone sector. So, with his experience in consulting, Julie is going to start with an analysis of what's existing, what are the current processes in the company, and he found out many, many small problems. Uh, first of all, uh, he, he understood that in the production, every every part of the plant is working with different isolated Excel files. So in the end, every team and every workshop is working with a, with a file Excel in that case that is not connected or synchronized with the other, with the other parts of the plants. So in that case, everyone is in, in a way planning in his own, uh, in his own workshop, but is not considering the impact that this planning may have on the other workshop of the plant. So the load centers are working in that case in silos. And um, so Jill tried to understand how does the supply chain department work uh, in order to provide the, the, the production with a, with a real planning. And they only provide uh, a master plan schedule, uh, but that plan comes from an ERP with an infin infinite capacity. So uh, Jules understand that with this, those uh, processes and problems, it was impossible uh, for the plan to have a proper planning and proper uh, and a proper synchronization of the flow in order to uh, to raise the productivity. So Jules started to find some some solutions, and he participated to uh, the global industry event in Lyon in 2019, and he passed by uh, the Dassault system booth, and he had a chance to see a presentation of Delmia Hortems. So Delmia Hortems is an APS solution, advanced planning and scheduling, and so Jules asked many questions and had a chance to understand how this solution could help him and help Alpha Drone's plants to increase productivity. So we will see in that demo how does the software works by concentrating every work order in a single planning. So the software being directly connected to the ERP, you can see all work order released and you can see the different links between the different operations that are going to happen in the different parts of the, of the plant in the different workshop. You can, in a single planning, move an operation, and you can see directly the different effect that this modification will have in the entire planning. So in that case, work order are synchronized, and if you move one operation, you see the consequences on the whole workshop. You also, uh, you can also handle some some problems, like in that case, let's think about the maintenance or machine breakdowns. You can easily, in the planning, close a calendar and see the consequences on the service rate. You have some key performance indicators that you can follow and you can track the modification that you're doing and you can, you can track the impact on the service rate in real time. 
So, of course, the purpose would be to deliver with 100% service rate in order to stay on time at any moment. You can also perform some focuses. So, if you want to see the sequence of operations that you are uh, that you are planning to uh, to have on a single machine or a single workshop, you can you can perform that. And you can also schedule from that. You can include different uh, different constraints, different limits that you have. On that example, we're seeing how to model an operator constraint. So, in that last example, we will see how the stock of raw material can also have an effect on your production. Indeed, if you plan an operation or if you plan a production, but if you do not have the raw material to perform an op the, the specific operation, you will not be able to produce. So. In that case, you can also see the demand, see the raw material stock, and plan your, uh, your your different operations based on that. You can also see some simulation, all right? And if you want, you can basically see different simulations and compare them based on different KPIs that you would have defined. So in Delmia Hortems, you can very easily see all uh, all parameters on your planning, including some change over time. Like in that case, if you have, let's say, a change of tool or a change uh, in the setup of the machine, you can, um, in real time, calculate automatically what would be the setup times of a specific production sequence. And of course, you can try to reduce this setup time by following with the indicators. So, in that uh, in that demo during the global industry event. Uh, Jules found out a very interesting solution because, as we explained, in a unique planning, in a unique reference, you have all the work orders in a centralized manner, but you also have uh, a synchronization between those different work orders. So when you move an operation, you see the uh, effect on the whole production uh, cycle, and you also uh, you can also track and synchronize the semi-finished work orders. So that's very interesting because most of the time when you have to start a final assembly, it's almost impossible with the with the ERP working at infinite capacity, it's almost impossible to synchronize those work orders. With Delmi Hortems, you can do that, so you can be sure that when you will plan your final assembly, you will have all your components and your semi-finished products um, ready for the last step of the production. With Delmi Hortems, you're also capable to simulate a new work order. So when a customer is asking if we can uh, deliver at a certain date, you can use Delmi Hortems to basically perform that simulation, check out, and see what would be a realistic due date uh, in order to you know, make sure that the date you will communicate to your customer will be, uh, will be a real one. And so, of course, the main differences between the current processes in Alpha Drones and Delmi Hortems is that Delmi Hortems is respecting the real production capacity that the, the, the plant has at the moment. So of course, we are seeing the machine capacity, but we can also model the availability of, for instance, some operators, um, of some operators with certain skills, and you can also uh, take into account the availability of raw materials before you start your planning. So, talking about the semi-finished work orders, uh, Delmi Hortems work also with a, with a specific engine in order to synchronize, as I said, the different uh, semi-finished work orders and tighten the margins. So, with a, let's say, classical MRP calculation, you would include in your total lead time some static margin, and it would have an effect on, let's say, the, the efficiency of your planning. Uh, with the synchronized resource planner, which is the engine that Delmi Hortems is using for uh, multi-level bone synchronization, you would be able to synchronize all of the, those flow of uh, semi-finished work orders, and you would be able to uh, reduce uh, the lead time in, um, in your production process. So Jules found a pretty good solution for the problems that he has identified. And after talking with the IT management, 
uh, the, the IT raised some concerns about uh, the, the, the fact that the tool is directly uh, connected to the ERP. So, of course, the ERP is the main uh, information system of the company, so it's always a risk to synchronize the tool with, um, with, uh, with an ERP. And so, basically, Jules uh, found out that, first, uh, Delmi Hortems works with almost all the ERP on the market, SAP, Sage, Oracle, Info, uh, Microsoft, and so on, but is also certified for SAP. So when uh, when Jules explained that to the um, to the IT management, they, they realized that in the end the technology is very uh, is very patented and very tested already in many customers. So we're using in that case a visual interface connector that is capable to connect directly Delmi Hortems with First, the ERP, but potentially other system that uh, that we may have. In that case, we could speak about the MES, for instance. So after that presentation, um, the IT management was quite reassured about that. And of course, uh, after that, Jules found out that he had to present the solution to the business team, the people that are actually working with a potential planning for production. So in that case, he spoke with the planners, he spoke with the production team and the, the production management, and he, and he understood that they were kind of uh, afraid uh, about having a new uh, a new software uh, that is going to take all decisions for them, so they were afraid about losing their autonomy, they were afraid that an algorithm would automatically them, and they would, of course, uh, be afraid of let's say, lose their expertise, the reason why they're so important in the company. So Jules identified that as a reluctance to change. And so what he organized is a demo, as he saw during the global industry uh, event. But basically, he performed that Delmi Hortem's demo inside the Alpha Durand's offices with uh, pre-sales of Delmi Hortem's. And so they saw how the software works. They saw the different features. They saw how, in in a way, Hortems is not going to make a decision for them, but it's going to help them making the right decision. So they saw different features, that the fact that the planner is not going to be the only person working the planning. There is some collaborators and viewer profiles that can interact with the planning and suggest some, some specific modifications in the planning. Uh, they saw how to use tags, markers, and comments in the planning in order to bring the expertise inside the planning and, and suggest some some modifications to the planner. The planner saw how the interface is customizable. So in the end, after a few modifications in the interface, he saw that, OK, he could use the planning as, as he would like to. And he's not going to have to uh, get adapted to a specific new interface that he never saw before. And uh, he also understood that the scheduling engine is going to be configurable. So we're going to configure with him the scheduling engine in order to have a calculation that makes sense for Alpha Drone. It's not going to be a random planning that is calculated according to one specific KPI. It's going to be an algorithm with a multi-level uh, criteria in the configuration of the scheduling engine. And so after that, the planner understood that the scheduling engine is going to do a huge part of the of the daily job. But in the end, he's the master of the planning, and he's the one who's going to validate or no the different changes. And he's the one who's going to show the different simulation that he's working on in order to decide what's the best planning for the company, depending on all the constraints. So of course, Alpha Drone is not a real company. And in that case, it was uh, an example. Uh, but they expected that the expected results of an Hortems, the Delmi Hortems project are very, uh, are very elevated. So usually the return on investment is pretty high. As you can see on that screen, we have different, with different KPIs that are impacted on, um, after Delmi Hortems project. So in that case, you can see that, for instance, we could reduce the cycle time of, let's say, up to 50%. We could reduce the machine setup time up to 25%. So those numbers are, uh, average numbers, okay, but we will see after that a real example. But of course, the benefits you would get from a Delmi Hortems project are not only uh, about numbers, 
but in in that case because in the planning you have all, all information and all people are capable to interact with the planning through the collaborative features that we have the sales team are going to be able to commit to reliable delivery times so when a customer is asking for a new order it's not going to be a problem anymore we stimulate the order and we give a, a reliable delivery date you will improve your relationship with your suppliers because when uh, when you're doing the planning you can anticipate shortages and so right now instead of calling your supplier and asking for a specific a specific delivery because it's very urgent because you do not have the raw material to start production you will anticipate that so the the relationship with the suppliers are going to be smoother uh, you will of course improve the communication between the teams because all teams are going to have one centric reference for the planning and scheduling and in that case they will uh, that that will improve the collaboration between the team and of course you will save time in uh, I mean during uh, the the creation of the planning for the plans so in that case you will stop losing time in in handling planning problems and you will have more time to do continuous improvement for instance so as we said Alpha Drone is not a real case, but we do have some real cases and real customers using Ortems in uh, in the real life. So in that context, we will speak about Speed Group. All right. So Speed Group is a company that is a market leader of the technical pyramid monofilament. So basically, they have a huge number of finished product, uh, a lot of lines to manage. They deliver about eight million items. Uh, and they have to manage so two departments, so extrusion and packaging. So basically, with Delmi Artems, they wanted to schedule 150 work orders by week on 24 machines uh, with a very high challenge on the reduction of uh, the setup time. And uh, in, from the packaging department, they wanted to make sure that the due date that they would communicate to the customer is real, and they wanted to be capable to observe some some specific indicators uh, when it comes to deliver in order to anticipate purchases, for instance. So with Delmi Artems, they observed many benefits. So first, they have a full overview of the load in terms of labor, so they can anticipate if they need to hire uh, extra labor, for instance. They can smoothen the load and optimize the, the, the employee's temp. They can, uh, I mean, they saved two persons uh, in the master planning department. So instead of spending, I don't know, the, the, the equivalent of a full time for four person in that case, in that case, sorry, um, they, they could save two person that could be deployed to conduct other value added work. Uh, they observed the reduction of over 35% of all temporary employees. Uh, the stock was reduced by 30% and the service level was improved by 20%. So, with all those benefits, they could realize that the production capacity increased by 10%. So they done, they have done no investment in new machines, uh, new labors, but only by managing better their scheduling, uh, they could increase the, the, the total production capacity by 10%. The planning and optimization scheduling of the whole supply chain was real result at Speed Group because in that case they could improved the communication between extrusion and packaging and have a very high results from the purchasing through the production to the delivery. Thank you very much for your time and, and for attending this webinar. You can also visit our website or our YouTube channel, for instance, or contact uh, our senior marketing manager if you have any question. Thank you and uh, have a good one.